Hi everyone and welcome to this series on Reactor 6. My name is Sammy and we're going to be taking a look in this series at using Reactor mostly as a plugin and mostly on the surface level here of using the ensembles. We're going to look at saving sounds. We're going to look at all the different options available here on the GUI and basically how everything is laid out and where you can find things. So we're also going to be taking a look a little bit at the behind the scenes here. If we go into edit mode, you can see we can drill down here. We're going to be taking a look at things on this level where we can actually drag our audio cables around and connect things. And we'll also be taking a look at various MIDI connections as well. Now you can see this here, it says Monarch. This is actually the instrument of Monarch. And you can see we could drill down into this and you can see there's a lot more going on down here. So this is the macro level now. And the macros contain other macros and they also contain modules as well. So what we're gonna be dealing with here is the instrument level and the ensemble level. So if you're new to Reactor 6, there's nothing here that's gonna be very difficult. It's all gonna be quite straightforward. However, it is gonna reveal some things that might not be very intuitive at first, and that'll help you get around much quicker than if you're just uh, going by trial and error. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.